Hello, earlier in class today I said I would send you out a video recording showing you how to create the scatter plot that is due for homework on Friday. I have the spreadsheet opened in front of me. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange the data so that I have everybody in alphabetical order by first name. To do that I'm going to click right here on this square and doing so will highlight the whole sheet. After I do that, I'm going to come over here to sort, click on sort, and it asks me what do I want to sort by. I'm going to say I want to sort by name. Click OK. And now I have all the people in our two classes arranged alphabetically by first name. Next, <coughs> I want to do a scatter plot with height and inseam. So to do that, I need to have height and inseam next to each other. I'm going to highlight this column, right click, and select insert. Doing so puts an empty column right here in column E. Next, I'm going to highlight column with wingspan, right click, select copy, put the cursor there, right click, select paste and it puts all the data right there next to height. Now that these two columns are next to each other I'm going to highlight both of them scroll up select insert select from chart scatter plot just picking this first one and there I have it. I put my cursor right here in the corner. I can drag that out and make that bigger. And there's my scatter plot. I would like for the computer to add a line that best connects all those data points, which, by the way, represent a person in the class. So I'm going to do that by clicking on one of them, which in turn highlights some of them. After I do that, I'm going to right click and select add trend line then it opens up this menu box over here and now I have a trend line that's all you have to do to create a scatter plot